Hello and welcome to this uh, special edition of the SWIFT tutorial series. Um, special it is because today on August 15, 2020, the SWIFT developers um, are releasing the new SWIFT version that is compatible to the Vulkan graphics engine of Xplane. Meaning that now you will be all able to use uh, the Vulkan graphics engine and render aircraft with Swift in your Xplane. So uh, this tutorial will take us through the uh, download and installation process. I will show you how to quickly uh, do some special things in the configuration wizard because we need to do something special there for it to work with Vulkan but it's no major uh, special science, don't worry. And then I will take you quickly through the um, Swift uh, mapping tool to create a nice and uh, fine-tuned um, uh, model set for you to use. All right, let's start. First, you have to go to the new um, homepage address of um, Swift, which is swift-project.org. It's as well on the bottom in the description of this video, so don't worry, you, need, you can click on that link. And, um, and you see here the download links and you have to go to other downloads because it's still an alpha version. So other downloads and you see here this alpha version 0.9.5.113 and, uh, and then you click on it and you will see all these different programs. If you are using Xplain or Prepared, you will have to use the 64-bit version of Swift. So you have to download here the Swift installer Windows if you use Windows. And for Xplain as well, you have to download the X Swift Bus um, uh, plugin that has the same version number. So that's 0.113, uh, like the one, the program that you download. In case that you're using FSX or FS9, you will have to use the 32-bit version and Linux and Mac OS, they are self-explaining. All right, I've prepared already all this stuff. Um, so here we are. Um, we first start off by installing the um, uh, X Swift bus. That's pretty easy. You just um, take it here go to your explain resources and plugins menu and you extract xswiftbus into your plugins menu in case that you have an old xswiftbus there you can overwrite the previous version or maybe you want to delete the previous version and make a fresh install of that plugin um, then next step we go here and we install the 64-bit version as I'm using X-Plane 11. Uh, maybe if your computer of your Windows does not uh, know this version uh, yet, you will get this blue screen where it will ask you to verify that you really want to execute that file. Obviously, you have to allow the, your Windows to, uh, to start that file and then you're going to end up on this screen as well. So we go next, we accept the agreement um, and we're using it here with prepared and explain. And we go next. Um, I'm not using the default program files uh, directory. I have a dedicated um, directory for all my programs that are dedicated to online flying, but I keep the, the, the name of the folder. And then we can install. Take a few seconds. And there we go. So it's check installation. So it didn't find a previous version of Swift because I cleaned my computer of all previous versions of Swift to show you how to do a fresh installation of Swift. In case that you have had um, a previous version of Swift on your computer, you will not see this screen because it will tell you, oh, I found the previous, an older version of Swift. Do you want me to use the same settings? Obviously, you press on, you click on yes, because then you don't have to go through all this stuff. In case that you are new to Swift or you want to make a completely uh, fresh installation of Swift, you will go through here. 
and um, you don't need to do anything here you can go next and um, as before I as explained in the other tutorial basically here this is you can copy the model sets of previous versions but as you see there are no previous versions they would be listed here otherwise I can't copy anything so I go next and the same here this is about um, settings of previous versions of older versions of Swift uh, I don't have any on my computer so there's nothing to select if I could if I had an older version I could just select it here and then I would have um, several of these um, settings available and you can then you could then select all and copy and copy those settings all right then uh, here first you start on the top you select the simulator you want to use Swift with for me it's explain only because I only have explain um, and then you select explain here and uh, yeah and select the path the directory where explain 11 x is um, located and that's this path um, my personal preference is to uh, make the entire directory of explain available for Swift to scan for aircraft uh, for its model set generation um, if you do not want to do this you can as well you can specify the directories here for example um, I have it I have my CSL set here and custom data CSL and then Bluebell for example or XCSL but I don't want that I will keep it like this and then we save the settings they are saved and then we go to next now we again start on top left here simulator explain is, is um, selected that's good and uh, now we see here um, yeah model directory it's using the entire explain directory and models so it's saying here it found 2244 models now um, we need to first make sure that uh, Swift will be able to display them correctly in uh, explain with the Vulkan engine and for this we have to use a program or a, a Python script it's called CSL to XSB to X Squawk Box. Uh, the developers here of Swift have been really cool and they have been able to implement and include this script in the installation routine here so you go to display and there you go you can close that one and you select any model it doesn't matter you right click on your mouse and you go to your simulator menu and there you go explain run CSL to XSB on all models and we do that and you see you get this um, prompt open here this command line and uh, yeah 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 test it with do you want to run yes so I press yes and I go enter and it will now examine the, the paths and um, look for aircraft and will now convert them where necessary in case that you've been using xpilot before or the x squawk box uh, program the plugin um, you may have done this already um, don't worry you can you can run it again it will not do any damage to your already converted files because it will check for the format and where necessary it will apply the uh, the conversion and where it's not necessary it will not do anything so it will take a few seconds let me take a sip of water all right so the script test has finished um, converting all the um, models to the correct format so we can actually use them in uh, Vulkan and um, we can close this window or we could try to reload let's force reload all the models from explain to really get the latest number of models only very few error messages we can ignore them close and now you see we have 7608 models available not bad now this is what Swift can see what we have on our computer but we still have to add them to our model set and for this we have to create a model set yep use all models override existing model set yes there we go and there we go here are all the models and um, we can or we rather have to save them here save explain 
and save model set for X-plane. So these are now the aircraft that SWIFT will be able to access to display other pilots when you're flying online. Let's continue. We go next. Here is the X Swift bus installation dialog. You can ignore that because we are still using an alpha version and for alpha versions we cannot use it. They are not available for download here. But we covered it already in the beginning of the video. We manually installed the X Swift bus plugin for Xplane. And uh, the next is the hotkey menu. I did it already before. So you see, uh, for example, we can or we can remove them and I make them new. So add. The most important one obviously is the push to talk um, button that you need to define here and you go to voice active, sorry, activate push to talk and then you click here on select and thereafter you click on the keyboard button or on the joystick uh, key or button that you would like to define as your push to talk key. For example here I take the right control key and then I click OK to save it and here it is. And I can as well, I can add more uh, bindings to the same function. So I can as well add here voice, push to talk, select and I use one of my joystick keys. There you go, button 5 OK, and there we go. And I can add another one for the same function on my joystick as well. I can use this one, button 0, and there you go, and, and so on and so on. So you can uh, assign several buttons for the same function. And if you say, if you would like to add, sorry, remove or manage edit one, you can just use this one. For example, here the, the button 5 was a mistake, so I remove it. Now we have these. And, and then I click on finish. And this is the config wizard done. In theory, you could now run the Swift GUI, go to the connect menu, um, select one of the servers here, probably the one that is the closest to you. Um, when you start Swift for the first time and this list here is not available. Give it a few more seconds. It takes a while to download the server data from Watson. So give it like 20 seconds and it will have it. So, um, And then here you enter your Watson ID, your Watson network password, your name. Don't forget you have three possibilities in Watson nowadays to enter your name. You can use your registered first and last name or you can insert only your first name or you can insert only your Watson ID to stay a bit more anonymous. And that's it. And when you're done with this, you can fill in this or uh, at the moment here you see this is red because I don't have the simulator running. So it cannot fetch any data from what aircraft we are presently using. And when you're done, you click on connect to be online at Watson. And that's it. So now go and fly online at Watson, enjoy Vulcan with the fantastic frame rates. Uh, should you run into problems, um, should Swift do things uh, or not do things, uh, then uh, please have a look at the other tutorial videos here. If there's a problem with aircraft, maybe the mapping tool uh, tutorial will help you. And uh, if you are new to Swift, I highly suggest that you have a look at the tutorial video that will provide you a little program tour with all the, let's call them, hidden settings that are quite useful. And uh, you should be set, hopefully. If not, we have a Discord server. You can join us and we will happily support you there. We have several people who are highly experienced in Swift and we will help you there, hopefully. Well, then, have fun and... Uh, See you online.